Hi, uh, what's up everybody? My name is Flitney Max and in this video I'm going to give you some tips on how to become a better sniper in DMZ. Now if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more DMZ content. And of course, don't forget to snipe that motherfucking like button. Alright, let's start with tip number one. The power of repositioning. Yes, repositioning is one of the best things you can do to outmaneuver your enemies. Best case scenario is when you can reposition to somewhere behind your targets. Like go for the biggest flank you can and try to get a high position so you have a good view over your targets. And most of the time when you flank, uh, the, the enemies will still be looking for you at your previous location because they expect you to re-peek and that way you can easily get the drop on them. One really big advice on this is if they spot you um, while you're sniping at them, don't re-peek. Always go for the reposition. Just back out, reposition and then take another shot. Alright, so in this following clip you will see me on a huge reposition to wipe a duo. Enjoy. Come on, bro. One one requesting recon at this time. Copy that. UAV online and so I'm just. Yeah, I'm gonna push in, I think. Yeah. There's one guy still here on the mountain, so stay out of the UAV. He's, Enemy threat is moderate near your yeah, he's ground level. Damn! Oh. Yeah, luckily I got the self res. Oh, what the frick, dude? He's right there, no way. He's in my building. Yep, yeah, I'm... Well, I'm outside your building. Freezing here. My freaking AI, dude, giving away my position. Yeah, I'm not gonna accept, I'm... I'm gonna wipe these guys. Ah, camping little cunt! Yes. Camping little cunt! <laughs> what a guy. Tracks on your tack map. I have no idea where his teammate is, so Ultra One, you've got hostile reinforcements incoming. <laughs> got some proximity right, mines. He's put a uh, proxy mine. There's a mine down on my body. Right, so, he's talking to his yeah, mate. He's inside the door. He's inside. Lay down right next to my body. Just cancel that so he can't talk. Can't talk. He can still talk, but he can't see. Right, I gotta try and find his teammate. But I think he's he's still on the mountain somewhere. Oh, vehicle coming in. That's definitely operators, maybe it's No, nah, it's going for the UAV maybe. Nah. Oh, more operators? So there's two teams here now. In the area. Keep I think. Your eyes open. What's that AI? I don't know. It's not here. Oh, oh, oh! He's still, he's still on the mountain. Right.
Don't see anything. Ultra One, an operator is requesting medical near your no, location. No, that's just a bush. <laughs> If I can get some plates from these guys, maybe. So it's not resin. He's a very patient sniper. I'm gonna see if I can maybe move to a better spot so I can find him. hear anything he's I don't think he's coming and I self alive Just go here, see if I can find some plates, maybe, or self rest. Nothing. So there is another team on this side as well, like Sava Village. One, you've gotta got be careful. Oh, I cracked someone with the, the proximity mine, so that's, that's definitely his teammate. I'm going, I'm going in. He's probably got his teammate back up already. Cheers, bro. Shit. Oh. Guess that was the sniper. Oh man, stunned for days. He's above me. Oh, he's climbing the ladder. Decline this. He's got a self res revive pistol. I'll take his backpack too, just in case. I'm gonna grab everything, and I just see if I can get a angle on this guy. He's in there. Sure of it. I heard him climb the ladder. Alright, so I gotta think. I think I gotta get to the mountain. Just get a little bit more height so maybe I can see him. Ultra one, an operator is requesting medical near your location. Let's quickly check if he's not revive him. Oh, okay, I think. I think he's still in the tower. Let's just move. Oh damn. Oh that's 
hotel though, yeah. Oh shit, shit, I got no plates, dudes. Alright, that's the other team. <laughs> Check this guy. Yeah, yeah I, I see his weapon. Don't wall bang him. Right, I don't see his weapon anymore. Maybe he is reviving. Oh, no, no, Glint, Glint. I saw that. He's still in the tower. There he is. This guy... Um, see him. Right, quickly gonna move in. Finish him off. He doesn't have anything anymore. I looted him before and I know he doesn't have a self res or a V5 Shit, pistol. Where the fuck does that come from? It was uh, still the same guy. Sorry dudes. Uh, man. I went on. I went, I went on to the Go. mountain. <laughs> see you guys. GG's. Where the fuck did that snipe come from? That was fucking... I, I went. I, I repositioned to the mountain, like north, northeast. And they're gone. <laughs> GG's, the power of repositioning. <laughs> awesome. Ah, the next tip that I'm gonna talk about is the spotter scope. Just bring it in, trust me, bring it in. Because, well, for a few reasons. You can see the distance on the spotter scope and it will allow you to adjust your aim correctly. It is also great for scouting areas like exfil zones or when you are under fire and you need to find your target. Plus the spotter scope does not have a glint so players will not be able to spot you as easily as when you are just trying to find players with your scope on your weapon. and um, players do not get alerted when they get tagged by the spotter scope, which of course is also very neat. <laughs> Alright, so this little device is the only tactical equipment that is not lootable throughout Fondol, Almazra, Ashika, or whatever. You can find flash grenades, shock sticks, smoke grenades, stun grenades, decoy grenades, teams, heartbeat sensors, snapshot grenades and tear gas grenades everywhere you can find them so if you want to bring in a smoke grenade or a stun grenade i'd say just leave it take the spotter scope and just loot a stun grenade and you know switch them out for the spotter scope when you need them because trust me the spotter scope is your best friend even when you're not sniping the spotter scope is your best friend take it with you trust me on that one all right, leading to the next uh, tip in this video is aim adjustment. Now, this is a tricky one because it's kind of different with every sniper build. When um, playing a new sniper build, what I usually do is I take out my spotter scope and I check the range and then I aim where I think the bullet is going to land and I just watch the bullet fly. Then I adjust my aim either up or down and I shoot again. Uh, now with my Homelander Victus build there is very very little bullet drop and at 750 meters I only have to aim up for about like one notch on the Corio 13 times Fear S scope. Now in this little clip like many people have probably already seen this clip but I'm just going to show it again because I'm playing with a explosive round MCPR and I'm checking the range and I'm taking the shots and yeah i downed some people <laughs> about 600 meters out so that is awesome enjoy still there dude how far is that 600 yeah they gotta stand still otherwise i'm not making this shot 
crack then? No, I just... Oh, that was not a crack, okay. I did hit him though, a little bit higher. Mocked him. 600 meters out, dude. 600. Oh, knocked the other. Dude. I'm aiming too low. Oh, no. There we go. That's it. Ah, so the next tip is about leading targets. This is probably the one that I struggle with the most. Sometimes you'll even see me miss 10 shots in a row on a moving target because, you know, it's just hard. Especially when there is zigzagging and dolphin diving to avoid getting hit. Um, yeah, but hey, if you don't take shots, you're never gonna hit anything. So the idea is that you shoot slightly in front of your target so they kind of move into your bullet. Now with uh, high velocity builds you won't have to aim very far in front just slightly. Like in this clip that you just saw uh, I like slightly aim in front of the uh, the passenger in the car and I, I take a shot and I down him so yeah just slightly um, aim in front of your target don't aim too far <laughs> because oh, high velocity rounds have a lot of travel location. speed they're they fast they, they they like it's it's like you click and bam you hit your target that's it <laughs> the bullets are that fast so if you're running with another bullet type then maybe you have to aim a little bit further in front of your target but with high velocity it is just slightly so keep that in mind ultra one be advised a squad of operators is near your location Use your tag map to locate contracts awarding cash. Be advised, enemy operators are near your position. All right, so this leaves me to the next tip in this video, and that is high ground. Like, high ground is obviously very strong position but it does come with a minor disadvantage in a lot of scenarios like <laughs> i mean scenarios in a lot of buildings there is this huge ledge and in order to actually snipe down you gotta stand or lay or crouch on the ledge and that leaves you exposed making it very easy for other snipers to shoot you off it now if you don't have a self res I would suggest not to go on a building like this um, because yeah well it's very easy to snipe you off if you do have a self res and you get knocked just crawl back jump down and revive yourself and then don't re-peek just move to a different different spot and then engage again so yeah but high ground is very very strong it's 
good vantage point. You can see everything. You can see enemies very easily. Uh, but yeah, for example, in this building, when you're laying here, you're exposed to all other snipers in the game. They can very easily spot you. So just keep that in mind. If you're on a high ground position, it might be very easy to snipe you off. Right. I didn't mean to fall down. But that's okay, I'll just move to the red tower. And it's not just high buildings, like there's mountain sites that don't offer any cover either, like mountain sites without rocks or something, so it's very easy to get sniped there as well. I didn't move, my dude. I'm gonna push in, see if I can. Can I make it? Nah, I can't make that. So, yeah, the following clip, I think a lot of people have already seen this, but it's a very good example of why high ground is not always the best. Yeah, just enjoy watching. Okay, another thing, like that I, wh when I look for a building to camp on, it like, most of the time it's not even the highest building in the area because uh, those are the, the spots that people will look at, like, people will look for the highest buildings and they check it out with the spotter scope, they don't see anyone and they think the area is clear, so maybe in a lot of cases it's better to not be on the highest building that there is. Uh, do keep in mind that if you are not on the highest building that someone else can get a drop on you with a better view like he can see you from a little bit higher um, yeah it's just a small little thing if you're going for a camping run and you're camping on a building just make sure that it is a spot that people don't usually check out too often now these two towers are very great locations for the camping but, increased activity in the area stay sharp but they are prime locations so people do check these towers out a lot so just be aware of that right there's an axle going on right now My aim is just not on point today. I've been missing shots like crazy today, dude. That's only 318, so that's not even... It's not even that far, so there's barely any bullet drop on this, on this build, but I'm just missing my shots. Uh, I did take out that helicopter right now. Time to place my proximity mines. them to think that I'm still here but I'm gonna move It's time for the next tip and this one is about 
whether you should push or not. Now, I get this question asked a lot on live streams and trust me, I'm not an expert on this. I get this wrong myself a lot and you'll see me dying due to my, um, well, by, you know, making a wrong decision on stream a lot. So bear that in mind. I'm just, I'm, I'm also still learning, especially when it comes to when I should push and when not. But um, what I do notice is that if you push when there's two operators dead, then it's like one versus one. And most of the time you get there right before or right when he is um, reviving his mate. So you can get the drop on them because uh, he, he'll be reviving and he'll you'll, you'll catch him with his pants down. So try to push in when at least one team member is down. Because if you're going to push in with all three of them still alive and running about, then uh, you're you're probably going to get wet. So I heard gunfire to my right. Nice. Thanks, dude. Easy kill. Right, so I don't know where the third member of their squad is, but he might be playing it slow. final tip on this video and that's the element of surprise this one is very important ambushing people when they least expect it is always a win what i've noticed is that most people tend to lower their guard when they are uh, on axville for example uh, so ambushing people at the axville is one of the most fun things to do in this game mode and yeah, it's like, sometimes kind of tricky to do this correctly but if all goes well it goes like this clip. <laughs> yeah, that just happened. Wow. <laughs> uh, if this video was helpful to you, please leave a sub. Maybe even leave a comment down below. And of course, snipe that motherfucking like button.